God to look over all of us and to look over you because I know you're looking for answers. I know right now you are in awful pain. Right now at 11, the week-long search for a missing woman takes a heartbreaking turn. The ongoing search for answers about Kathleen Moore's death as deputies arrest her boyfriend in this case. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Wendy Ryan. And I'm Jameis Euler. Within the last three hours, the Pasco County Sheriff announced that Kathleen's boyfriend, Colin Knapp, is charged with her murder. But investigators are still searching for Kathleen's body and they need your help to get answers. ABC Action News reporter Rochelle Aline joins us live outside of the Pasco County Jail with the late breaking details on this case. So Rochelle, the Sheriff's Office says Colin was booked into jail after they found bloody clothes in a very surprising place, right? You know, they did, according to the sheriff's office, they say they found his clothes with Kathleen's blood on it in a dumpster belonging to his job. They say he's a kitchen manager at Harold Seltzer's Steakhouse in Port Ritchie. They also say he told investigators that he went into work at 1.30 in the morning, just hours after Kathleen was last seen alive, to do a meat inventory at his job. I want to start off with our, our thoughts and prayers are with the family and friends of Kathleen Moore. Condolences in a case so many in Pasco and Pinellas County want it to end another way. If there's one thing that I can tell the family is that Kathleen was absolutely loved by this community. According to the Pasco County Sheriff's Office, Kathleen Moore was last seen alive bar hopping with her boyfriend, Colin Knapp, late into the night on November 28th. One week later, they announced that Moore was dead and that Knapp was charged with her murder. We were hoping he was going to provide information during his interview. As one of our detectives described, he was very cold. Even when we were begging with him to tell us where her body is, he wouldn't give us that information. PCSO says Knapp claims he and Moore got into a few fights at the bar and then got into another fight at his home in Newport Ritchie. He says she left, but after finding her phone in a dumpster near Knapp's home and then finding bloody clothes in another dumpster near Knapp's job, investigators claim they have enough to charge him with her death and they're making one last plea to him to help them wrap up the case. For Colin Knapp, who's in this facility right now, Know that there is a God. Know that he knows all the answers. And right now you have an opportunity to do something positive when you had done so much evil. Please share with us right now where Kathleen is so we can do something for the family. We can give them some type of resolution. And the Pasco County Sheriff's Office says that there are tips from the community that can also help them find Kathleen's body. They say if you know anything, you should call them at 727-847-8102 and press option 7 when you do call. At this point, they also say they don't know how Kathleen died. In Pasco County, Rochelle Oline, ABC Action News. Rochelle, thank you. And if you're not already looking at your screen, please take a look at these pictures right here. This is Colin Knapp's Cadillac. The Pasco County Sheriff says it's the last car that Kathleen was seen getting into. Colin claims Kathleen was in the car when he stopped at a 7-Eleven early Monday morning last week. But the surveillance video from that convenience store is too grainy, so deputies don't know that for sure. And deputies have also shared this picture of a Chevy Silverado, which Colin also owns. If you spotted either the Cadillac or the Chevy sometime early last week, please call deputies right away.